Hello everyone, this is DA from EA Academy and today we'll talk about how we can form topology by using a metric space. In one of the previous videos, we have seen what is a metric space and the concept of open balls in functional analysis. So we'll use the both concepts in order to figure out the answer of how we can form topology by using a metric space. So the answer has two main steps. The very first step is about the basis of a metric space that how we can form bases in a metric space and then by using the basis we can form topology so recalling the definition of an open ball what is an open ball in a metric space that if we take any random point in a metric space and we form a ball of a radius r then an open ball is a ball that contains elements of metric space whose distance with the center of the ball that is x naught is smaller than r and we can say this strictly smaller than r so this is the definition of an open ball in a metric space where this d is also known as a metric that the metric of that element of, of a metric space and the center of the ball x naught must be smaller than r so now if we form a collection of the open balls of all of the possible open balls in a metric space x so this is the collection of all of the open balls in a metric space and this b is written in the form of like this is the representation of bases so we claim that the collection of all of the open balls in a metric space is indeed a basis of that space. So we will prove this claim that this collection satisfies the two main properties of being a basis. The very first is the union of all of the open balls where open balls from this collection is indeed equal to x. And the second one of the property of the basis is that if we take two open balls from this collection and if we take the intersection of two open balls and we'll get a point x then there will be an open ball b3 from the collection such that the x that is in the intersection belongs to an open ball and that open ball is a subset of the intersection of the two open balls so this is the second property of the basis and we will prove both of the properties will be satisfied by this collection of all of the open balls so let's start the proof so this collection is all of the possible open balls in a metric space so we have a metric space and if we pick any random point in that metric space x let's call it x node so then by this collection we have an open ball at this that's centered at this x node so we can form it here and we can pick any other random point here let's call it x1 and we can form another open ball that will center at that x1 this is the point and in the same way we can pick any point in that x and we can form an open ball like so this is true for all of the points in the metric space x for each if we pick any point in that metric space we have an open ball so we can talk about this for all of the points in the metric space and this is true for all the points so we can say that if we take the union of all of such open balls and this will eventually equals to x because we are talking about all of the possible points in the metric space so the first property is satisfied by definition and now moving toward the other property so in the second property we have two open balls and a point in the intersection of the two open balls and we are looking for an open ball where the x that was point taken from the intersection of two open balls is a part of and three the third open ball and is a subset of the intersection of the two open balls so if we draw the two open balls here so b1 centered at x1 and have a radius r1 and b2 that is an open ball that's centered at x2 and a radius r2 and there's a point x in the intersection of b1 and b2 so how we can say that there will be an open ball in the intersection of the two open balls b1 and b2 so let's 
Why here the distances of the metric of B1 and B2 separately? That is, so the distance of X1 and X, when we're talking about this ball, that which points will be in B1, will that will satisfy this property that the distance of any point with the X1, that is the center of the B1, will be smaller than R1. And for B2, the distance of X2, that is the center of the second ball B2, and the points that will be in B2 will be less than R2. So we'll take a value R that is smaller than both of these R1 and R2. So we'll put R is the minimum of the two distances X1 and X and the distance of X2 and X. So this R will be less than, strictly less than R1 and R2 by definition. And this thing implies that this will be an uh, open ball that of radius r that is smaller than r1 and r2 so we'll not touch that boundary here uh, so we'll draw it again so this ball that contains the point and whose radius is r and this is what r is so this will be r b3 now that is b3 is a ball that is the subset of the intersection of B1 and B2 and also contains the point X because we can we form a ball B3 at the center of, of the whose center is X so we can write it so this is B3 that is uh, that is one of an open balls from this collection and contains the point X and is a subset of B1 and B2 intersection so the two properties are satisfied now and this collection of all of the open balls in a metric space is a basis of the metric space. So now we can talk about how we can form topology by using a metric space. By Now the answer is that we can form topology by using the definition of the basis that how we can form topology by basis that taking the arbitrary unions of the bases and then we can form a set that is a topology so this is a so this is a basis of the metric space and by using arbitrary unions of this collection of sets this collection of open balls and we can form a topology by this so indirectly by using the definition of the bases we'll answer it how we can induce a topology by using a metric space so the basis of the metric space if we take the arbitrary unions we can form tau d and this presents that the topology induced by the metric space so this is how we can form a topology by using a metric space and this is for now we're looking for more such videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye